Hello everyone, Dylan here with another LEGO Harry Potter review, and this one is on the Ministry of Magic, of course. So here we have the front, on the front of the box have the LEGO Harry Potter logos and Wizarding World logo, and that same border that we've seen since last year, of course. And also a picture of the set with everything there is, and me fig selection down below, and Age recommendation is 9 and up. Set number 76403 has 990 pieces. And now flip onto the back of the par box of it, or back of it. See how it's, how you can like swap out with how it's modular and the features of it and it with some different orientation of it and how you can swap pieces of View the mini figs in there. And now onto the instruction manual, which a little different than the box cover, of course, but simplistic idea that they're now going forward and like on the back, kind of went on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set. And then also, the build and swap of all the Hogwarts sets of both this year and last year. And then add a rebuild the world and final steps. And also at the start of which is how it's transitioned, how they're transitioning to paper bags, of course. Now onto the, the mini pick selection from left to right. So first up, uh, which is Harry Potter exclusive version with exclusive face printing, of course, and then Hermione Granger and Ron Weasley, all, all of which with exclusive uh, torso and face printings. But there's a reason for that, which we'll go over in a minute, and of course. Holding different color wands, of course, and Hermione's of which, and Hermione's similar hairpiece as we've had for the last few years. And then next to which, Arthur Weasley, but with some good torso printing and a nice face print, of course. And also has the classic suitcase piece, but if you get that, then there is a special piece inside it, of course. Oh, let me show you. Which open that up, and there's a special tile piece in there, of course. And let me get that back on. There we go. And next to which is Dolores Umbridge, which all new exclusive variant version, as unlike with the one that we've had for the last couple waves of course but and of course hair piece of which is the same as from that and also round tile piece all new and unique kind of quite nice and next to which is Corbin Yaxley whoops and as you see his face printing uh, does quite well suit to him and also, some quite nice torso printing and everything, and holding the black wand, of course. And next to which is a pious a thick knees, which, and of course, with face printing, also well, and torso printing quite nicely done, which you can use in some other settings, of course. Whereas hair piece of which, about the same as Sally's from the collectible mini fig series. Uh, series 2, of course, but in brown instead of red. Quite nice to see, which you can use on some other figs if you want. And then last, and the next of which is this Mary Cattermole. Oh, with with some, like, sparkling, or I mean, polka dotted type printing for both the legs and torso bit. Quite nice, and also jacket printing as well. And also good face print for that, and 
hairpiece. So one that we've seen many, many times before, but at least it kind of works for her. And last, and next to which is Dementor. Or no, no, yeah, Dementor. Which, which we haven't seen since like the 2019 Expect Patronum and 2018 Hogwarts Express sets. And still looks great with, still looks great. Like with that uh, Ninjago bottom piece there and also that cape piece also great of course and then next to which is this is the patronum cap to which kind of the same as from the last few waves where all blue and with sparkly to it really nice and cool and as for the backs of which well some of which do have uh, back face printing oh very few actually don't Whereas for Harry, Ron, and Hermione's, which they're actually a little bit different for them. Because it's actually their alter ego that they turned into in Deathly Hollows. Since they, since this set also provides additional extra hair pieces that you can swap out for that. And so now, for their, uh, for their alter egos, or other forms, are Albert Runcourt, Mephilda Hawkirk, and Reg Catterbull. Yeah. So aside from that, all the back torso printings, good, and other double side faces, also quite nice, but... Although, nice uses of some of these hair pieces. Although, what also could have worked out is have these set as their own separate minifigs, but, or maybe that will come in a, could come in a collectible minifig series, or whatever. But overall, this selection of minifigs, uh, done really good. And also, with this set, you don't get any uh, wizard card tiles, which is kind of odd, but whatever. And next to which are these little, uh, what are probably paper airplanes or something, but whatever. And of course, quite simple for that on the clear hinge rods and minifig holders and, and sign pieces, but just plain white. Quite good use of those, but yeah. And next to which is this uh, telephone booth, or just phone booth, which which you can definitely use in some other settings outside of Harry Potter, of course, or even modify it into Bill and Ted's phone booth or whatever. And also, all those kind of like the TARDIS one for, uh, from Ideas a few years ago. But aside from that, as you see, the top part of which, great use of those pieces, make it a kind of slanted look to it and also tile pieces that are all stickers there's quite a few stickers in this set and also have the, some snot with the like, tiles on it and also doorway which is printed you can flip that open and classic phone piece in there and enough space to fit a single minifig into so good uh, phone booth build and next to which is this fountain which has this extra minifig, which isn't counted as one, but as but also as you can see, does have those uh, curved pieces in dark green and the gold bar pieces in metallic gray, which nice to see there, and also how this is built, which is on one clear cylinder piece and the classic frog pieces in gold and leaf pieces also in gold and probably just to make them work as legs and a base bar. Very cle quite clever, and also very existing pieces and a fez, all in gold, of course. Although kind of looks like something that came in a recent advent calendar, of course. But yeah. But aside from that, 
still quite nice build for a few pieces and yeah and that's about it with all the mini things and small bits of it now on to the main section the ministry of magic itself which as you can see quite large for how it is or quite tall and all and of course good archway of how it is but if you remember this in the movies and also the fantastic beasts movies then there's like tons of these kind of sections of which but although that would probably make up as a quite large set although you could like get m multiples of the set and modify them and make that or make as a whole block of it or whatever but yeah and so now as it said on the back of the box oh whoops as it said on the back of the box you can like make it in separate sections which i will do in for this review like top part which is this roof bit has good some nice snot going on with these pieces and the leaf pieces in gold again and also this little banner that's hanging upside down loosely in there and also on the back part of which which has a little tile there and also nice little build for a typewriter of course and also just like we saw in the Jurassic World lines is the classic crowbar pieces put to some interesting use great which is great and also you get plenty of these like railing pieces put to some good use then and also you can like detach them by two pins which kind of like the recent Hogwarts sets do and also they're attached by the eight plates or the eight plates there or like in the like the Ninjago mech dragon and whatnot and also do get two of these little side builds which have tiny propellers and on BB9E head pieces there and also what you get is not one but two of these uh, monkey kid or Ninjago I'm not sure which uh, type green flame pieces which great to see here and also you do get those like dome like pieces in dark green also nice for mocks and aside from that quite good for what it is and for this one tower I would separate the sections so like this bottom section which as you can see which has those candle pieces and also the traditional flame pieces in green and also crowbars again and also with this set you get plenty of of these like castle corner pieces in dark green very quite nice for that but also with this set is well this section of which is also kind of the travel flu of it if you know like place this up and also there's a pair of green flames representing that someone just flew right up with it and if you notice on the back part of which that there's a green diamond piece there on a cone with some technic bits connected to it and basically you like pull on that and mini fig flips right up uh, let me show you that one more time that and they're gone so just about like the movies and now onto this section which great curve use of those of all the window pieces there and also get a whole lot of these uh, candlestick pieces in red which also great for mocking and also get a lot of the brick brick kind of brick bricks as I call them type pieces but in dark green of which and well this one of which is of course Dolores Umbridge's office so get plenty of pink and lavenders and uh, darkish pinks as well and and of course some of the cat pictures yeah cat pictures but they're all stickers of course and also get her desk with uh, a with, a, with the recent teacup and also 
uh, some sort of paper with MM on it. Or always oh, standing for Ministry of Magic, of course. And that's it with this section. And now onto this section. It would seem kind of similar built from the front view, of course. And if you turn around and you get this large desk here, which has the recent feather piece. It's used for the quill and also a chair on there on the side and another above. And, and of course, let's see, can, it's attached by a few studs and a few gold bar pieces in, again. And of course, but also you get the like groove pieces, but with a tile with a sticker on it to look like a stack of papers or newspapers, of course. And as you see, modular, just like the recent Hogwarts set, so which of course. And on to the other tower bit, like this lower section, also quite different than the rest to which, which as you see does have a few more of that effect going on. The set has number one Harry Potter on tiles, of course. Of course. And also from this front view, do you get one of those macaroni technique pieces there and one of those usual pieces there? And like we've seen with uh, one of the Hogwarts Moments book sets, and correct me if I'm wrong, maybe last year's uh, uh, Hogs Meat set, then also have those cylinder pieces in clear and sparkly, which really nice, great to see here, of course. And whereas for the back section, completely plain, but, and if you're wondering what those green gem pieces are for, that's for a feature um, of it. So, so basically you like tap on that and makes those stacks of papers uh, fly right up, uh, which probably representing the like explosion sequences in the later movies or in the roof in Deathly Hollows or whatever, but yeah. And so some more brick technique going on there, of course. And that's it with that section. And onto this section, which same build as some of the others, so which, but in this, in, but inside of which you do have like a random boom box for whatever reason with a fork coming on it. And do get Fez making a lamp, baby bottle piece, and then a translucent pink uh, one by one brick with its sparkle in it, quite nice. And also, do get one of those domish pieces with a rubber ducky piece from the collectible minifig series in it. And also, do get a few tiles, but all stickers, of course. Yes, but Aside from that, quite nice interior space for that. And last of which is this one, as you see. Same build as the others, but with these tiles representing like stack, Lord Stack and newspapers, of which is probably representing like overflow or something. And other side of which, which does have another one of those dome pieces, but with a blue flame piece in it. As you can see, and also do get some like a technic piece with a blue gem piece there, and also do get a lot of those recent cylinder pieces and uh, those diamond-like pieces in the translucent glittery effect thing, oh, which great to see here. Nice for mocking and everything. And so now for the main feature of it is that you push on this and it topples right over, oh, which very quite nice and fun. back on the course. And so now let me get these back on to the oh, well. Get the 
ですね。And so now for my overall verdict. Oh, hang on. Okay, for my final verdict, I think this is which really great, really good set for what it is like. Since this, of course, they something from the line that we have never seen before, and of course, prevalent in both Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts, of course. But hopefully, this is a sign that there will be some more Fantastic Beasts stuff sets yet to come, or also some other stuff that sets that we still have yet to get, or even possibly a new Mer People set or whatever. But yeah. And as for the minifig selection, of which is for our three main characters, good to see them with the、uh, alter ego type forms of them, like which is even though that's a slight mention of Deathly Hollows, which we haven't seen mentioned since like 2010 or so, or 2010, 11, of course. But also for the pieces of this set, a lot of nice light red and dark green. And also plenty of good ones that she can add for mocks and whatnot. But also kind of odd how the this is just two towers for that. And if you see this in the movies, there's a lot of towers to that. But although maybe that would have been a little too much, but I can forgive how this is. But yeah. And so now, if and if you're looking to get this set for your collection, definitely pick this up. And if you're looking to get this for your Or make a mock of Ministry of Magic, in which definitely pick this up. And that is about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.